Delhi, Katua, Mumbai, Unao, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Chennai, Kaya, and Tripura. These are just some of the most recent and not so recent rape cases in India. And what's more, according to the 2016 crime stats, India recorded 106 rapes per day, which, according to calculation, comes down to four rapes per hour. Now, what can be sadder than this? <laughs> And welcome to Logically India's YouTube channel. As we waited for the president's take on a mercy petition filed by one of the rapists of the 2012 Nirbhaya case, another disaster took place. Dr. Priyanka Reddy, a veterinary doctor from the city of Hyderabad, was found dead after being raped, smothered, and partially burned by four men. These four were found consuming alcohol at the Shamshabad Toll Plaza when they saw Priyanka and hatched a plan of raping her. Sounds familiar, right? Let's take a look at the 2012 Nirbhaya case. In 2012, Jyoti Singh, or better known as Nirbhaya, was a paramedical student who was gang raped and brutalized by six men in the backseat of a moving bus in Delhi. She succumbed from grievous injuries and passed away soon after. This then led to nationwide protests, demonstrations, and marches for the better safety of women in the country and quicker justice for Nirbhaya. Among all of these events, we notice repeating patterns of one, an increasing unsafe environment for women, two, Rapes accompanied with severe brutality. Three, delayed justice with not so stringent laws. And four, rape culture. Now it's not like the government didn't take any measures post the Nirbhaya case. They did set up a Verma committee that was aimed at providing recommendations to prevent and counter increasing sexual assault cases. They also set up a Nirbhaya fund as well as the Criminal Amendment Act of 2013. But what's difficult to comprehend is that despite all of these efforts, there has been a 47% increase in rapes between 2012 and 2014 in India. The Nirbhaya Fund was established by the UPA government in 2013 with an initial funding of 1,000 crores, which only gained momentum in 2015. And according to latest reports, the Nirbhaya funding has now reached 3,600 crore rupees. The key scheme under this fund are Emergency Response Support System, Central Victim Compensation Fund, Cyber Crime Prevention Against Women and Children, One Stop Scheme, Mahila Police Volunteer, and Universalization of Women Helpline Scheme. However, as per the data, out of the 854.66 crores released by the center, a mere 165.48 crores has actually been spent. And despite all of the money being dispersed, the states don't seem to be putting in that much effort into actually utilizing it. This is what Mumbai had to say about this. Uh, anything about Nirbhaya Fund? Um, I know the Nirbhaya backstory, but I don't know about the Nirbhaya Fund. No, Nirbhaya Fund, no. I know about the Nirbhaya case, but not about the fund. No. So actually, government and Nirbhaya Fund initiated after Nirbhaya incident okay. for the women's safety. Okay. But the crores that you invested If you keep it or if you do something, it's not credible. So, use it well. It's good for the betterment of the society. It will be difficult to reach the government this fast, but there, are, there need to be some actions taken, like some interviews like you are taking right now. Uh, they can reach such places. It, make, it may make it easier for other person to share it and to let other people know that there is this fund which is not being used properly. And Slowly but gradually, one can take steps to uh, make some change. So I think one can sign a petition. If the petition reaches like more than lakh signatures, it, it, ma it makes it easier to reach at higher levels. So I think that and, you know, ma ma aware people about it like on social media or uh, make more interviews like you are making right now. Basically, we are the largest democracy, I would say. So people have the power, they really don't realize what they have. So they should use their powers. They should try, speak out instead of uh, getting used to these things and um, stand up for themselves. Along with our slogans of justice and hanging the rapists, it's time we compel the government to actually use the funds so that in the coming years, we celebrate a safer country for our children and women. That's all we have for in today's show. I'm Neha Nambiar. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with Logically India. Goodbye.